Assassin's Creed here say is the brand new lore that Ubisoft has just revealed and in the future they're going to be making this into a game but for the very first time we will now be able to play as the head of Abstergo's entertainment and Ubisoft has given us a ton of information about the protagonist and what kind of a storyline are they going to be taking this game into according to what the lore and the story say so far it seems like we're going to be playing as a character named Simon Hathaway who's basically a member of Templar inner sanctum which means that we are of course going to be playing as a templar character now previously in every single assassin's creed games all that we have seen is that we are going to be able to play as an assassin and with assassin's creed rogue we actually did play as an assassin but then he turned into a templar and went rogue against his own cult here now with this game with hearsay it seems like we're going to be starting off the entire game playing as a templar and controlling the memories of his ancestors who is also another templar Templar. Now Ubisoft here says that Simon Hathaway is going to be a member of Templar's inner sanctum and he's also a really cool head and detached manner to his new role as head of Abstergo Industry. Now this of course means that Assassin's Creed Hearsay will have a lot more content for the modern day here since the character Simon that we're going to be controlling is going to be the head of Abstergo Industry which means that he's actually a Templar in the modern day storyline. Now according to the storyline that Ubisoft has provided here it seems like simon also has an insatiable curiosity and is fascinated by the thoughts of experiencing history for the very first hand through his ancestors and he plays the role of gabriel laxart who is the templar that simon is going to be controlling using his ancestral memories and the game is going to be set in the 14th century during the hundred years of war between france and england and it is also said that the storyline is going to take place where the templar gabriel laxart is going to be fighting alongside the legendary Joan of Arc. Now, for those of you guys who don't know who Joan of Arc is, she's basically known as the heroine of France, who apparently plays her role in the Siege of Orleans, and she alone leads an entire army of France into the war and ends up being victorious against England. So she then was considered as heroine of France. So, and since now we will be able to play as Gabriel the Templar, we're also going to be fighting alongside Joan of Arc. Now, Ubisoft here says that. Abstergo Entertainment has basically found out a brand new enemies system which is unlike that what we've seen with Assassin's Creed games in previous ones and this apparently seems to be something new according to them and this is what they had to say when he enters the newly designed enemies for its initial project Simon finds himself unprepared for what he has to discover how deep the conflict between the Templars and Assassins goes what Gabriel will do for the woman he both loves and reverses and the most dangerous truth of all, who is the heretic and who is the true believer? Now this of course seems like the game is going to be originated more towards Christianity because that's what this day and age basically means. And we're going to be having a lot of story that is going to be related to Jesus because Joan of Arc is a huge believer and that's one of the reasons why she led the entire army of friends believing that she has some kind of a divine support from Jesus himself and that's basically how they won the entire war against England. So yeah, since this game is also set in the same time period with all of these legendary characters it also means that we might be seeing a bunch of stuff that is related to gods jesus and a bunch more mythical stuff could also be possible and of course we don't really know on when this game could possibly end up being made and of course we don't have any confirmation from ubisoft if they are currently working on this game or not all that they have provided us so far is that the storyline of this game who the character or the protagonist of this game is going to be and we're going to be playing as Templar according to the lore here because every single Assassin's Creed game starts from a lore that Ubisoft creates and releases before they turn that into a game over time in a couple of years now and if at all Assassin's Creed here say does end up releasing then it would most likely be released as an add-on content for Assassin's Creed Infinity which is said to be the upcoming big deal for Ubisoft where they're going to be combining a bunch of other Assassin's Creed game all of them together as one so this is most likely how they're going to be handling with all the upcoming Assassin's Creed titles all the different lores that they've shared so far which I will of course be covering right here on this channel there are a bunch of different lores and I think that Ubisoft is basically going to have all of these different timelines different assassins Templars and storylines like that combined together as one live service game where you will be able to access all the different Assassin's Creed games into just one hub where you have everything available right there so that seems like this is what Ubisoft plans here let me know down below 
the comments which setting would you guys like to see for the next Assassin's Creed game to be set if the game is supposed to be coming for Assassin's Creed Infinity. Me personally though, if Ubisoft is watching this, then you guys should probably know that I absolutely would love to see a game set in India, China, or Japan. Now, China is already confirmed. If you guys haven't watched my yesterday's video, go ahead and watch that because Ubisoft has already given us the storyline information about the protagonist and stuff like that. So that lore is already made, set, and ready to go to be made into a game anytime they want to. And now we're moving on with the hearsays. And now we're moving on with the Assassin's Creed hearsay, which is set during the 100 Years of War. So there is so much lore. There is so much content coming for Assassin's Creed. So just keep your eyes peeled and get ready for more information. Because I will, of course, keep you guys updated right here on my channel. So every single information that you need about all the upcoming Assassin's Creed games, as well as all the open world titles, leaks, and information about open world games is available right here first on my channel. So make sure to go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and turn the notifications on. And, and the most important step of all, make sure that you guys are setting the notification settings to all because if you don't do that the broadcast youtube platform they just don't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos so make sure you guys do it and if you guys didn't go on and enjoy this video then please just take a few seconds of your time and drop a like on this video it would really help me out as a content creator it helps my channel out it helps the videos so if you guys could just take a few seconds of your time and just leave a like rating that would really mean a lot to me your support is of course absolutely appreciated but that being said lads i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye